Hey guys, it's me, Orange Baron. I'm about to teach you how to play Max Like a Pro, so you can be the swiftest thief in the zoo. Okay, so let's get into this right now. We're gonna head off with the items. So, for the best items to use on Max, you're gonna go with one jungle shoes, two holy sandals, three vampire teeth, four, you're gonna go with an awesome item known as helium canister, five, adrenaline shot, and you can use wake up coffee if you wanna be swift the end 50. Now, I know people would probably try to use models of the top bomb or a cluster bomb, but I don't really think it's that great on Max, I'll be 100% honest with you. So, another thing you need to know, if you're to choose between S tier items, go with muscles. Muscles is the way you want to go. Pheromone is just as good, I just prefer muscles, but if you're having a hard time aiming with Max, then definitely go pheromone essence to help you aim a lot better and catch people off guard. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the weapon traits. Now, this is very important on Max. For his bomb, you're literally just going to go with radius and then you're going to max range. It doesn't do much damage. Damage, I'll be 100% honest with you. Your bombs are okay on max. Just don't expect too much. Now we're going on to the bow and arrow. For the bow and arrow, you're going to max range first, then you're going to max cooldown reduction. And then obviously, for spear, you're going to max range first, then cooldown reduction. Now you can go knockback with spear. That depends on your play style. Personally, I don't really need it on max. Okay, so now before we head on to the tips with max, I want to let you guys know right now if you want to do that extra meme damage, you need to have that racer max skin. That is the greatest max skin in the zoo as it makes you feel super fast. Okay, next up here, we're gonna head into those tips. Now, let me tell you right now, when it comes to Max, yes, a lot of people call him Nyx 2.0, but let me be real. His active does not have a short cooldown like Nyx's active. So be very careful how you're using it because you can literally use it and then have no escape in a lot of engagements. So be careful when you use his active, it's very important. Do not go with the thinking that this is Nyx because it ain't, it's a better version of Nyx. Okay, the next tip that you have is that remember when you're using his active, you do have the ability to take an item from your enemy. Now, this is very and handy so when i'm going up against tanks or people that i know probably have an extra health kit or have adrenaline shot i will take that item and then do damage on them it helps so much guys so much you have no idea how good it can be literally steal somebody's item and then do damage on them they'll be like oh no i don't know what to do and you'll catch them off guard and blow them up so something important to note with max is that your bombs do not give a lot of damage and this is very important because i've seen a lot of players just use their bombs all over expecting it to do damage when they get up close and personal and it doesn't do much and they end up losing the battle so you need to be very aware of that so when you're really engaging you need to understand that your main damage is coming from your bow and arrow and from your spear if you need to stay at range back then keep using your spear and kiting your opponent your bow and arrow is much like steve where you're going to be able to heal up with vampire teeth very easy if you're low in health. And last but not least, understand that having fun with Max is the best because he is a thief. You can go out and steal people's items and just mess around in the zoo. That's the best part about Max, honestly, in my opinion. All right, guys, please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys do for Max build or if you enjoy Max at all. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.